you go, Doctor Who. And if you don't, then you can go. Right, hello guys, watching Go Doctor Who, and today we're going to do the last week of classical August. We've done Robot, we've done um, Spearhead from Space, Ch check him on Oats, we've done Power of the Daleks, and now we're doing Survival uh, today. So yeah, let's get on to it, it's the finale. Um, before you do, could you make sure you subscribe and get the little bell though, so you don't miss any more of these videos and get to miss this. I know. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get on to the video and let's get on to the review of Survival. So, this is an interesting one. It's the last classical Doctor Who story of the... Is it the revived era? Do they call it that? Anyway, it's the last classic Doctor Who story. And, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's a fun one. I didn't think I would enjoy it for some reason. I don't know, because maybe... Because the same person who wrote this wrote Eaters of Light for the new, new, uh, new Who uh, for series 10. And I weren't particularly a fan of Eaters of Light that much. It was quite mm, average. Whereas this was actually pretty decent. So I can see why a lot of people got excited for it. And a lot of people got built up for this story now. Um, yeah, really enjoy it. Um, let's just get into it. So the Doctor brings Ace home and Ace gets to see her friends and family or does she she don't because she's trying to find her friends and they've all been gone missing and she's gone back to uh the place and it's all quiet more than usual and that's it really and then we notice there's loads of cats around and the doctor seems to be a uh, pretty fascinated about cats and we get this comedic scene in the uh the in the shop and he's picking up all these cat items and he's like oh i think i forgot something yeah, to pay. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> I, I absolutely love Sylvester in this. He's quite funny. And, yeah, the way he's been written is pretty decent. So, yeah. Um, if we die like... If we fight like animals, we die like animals. There's so many iconic lines, I guess. And, of course, the cliffhanger of uh, the first one was... Uh, the Master's re reveal, which you kind of could tell it was the Master, I guess, through the shadow, but maybe some people didn't. But, yeah, it was quite a nice introduction cliffhanger, I guess you could say. Uh, also, when you get taken by all these black cats, it tends to be mainly black cats, but what they are, there's these these cats that are rolling around on the, on the, on the Earth are taking people to teleport to the cheetah planet, where all these cheetah people are. Um, and I, for say it's good, I'm just going to call it cat people. But you noticed I have got it right and said cheetah people. But it's just my memory's not the best, and I'll probably end up forgetting to call them cheetah people. So I'm going to call them cat people. Um, yeah. So basically, these cat people they are hunting, and we later learn that uh, there's a lot of cheetah cat people out there, but um. Some of the cat people are actually us. We're slowly turning into these um, cats and we're slowly with the eyes and the teeth and we get the urge to hunt and we get the urge to run and we can feel it like forever. This planet is basically mixing everything up and it is basically uh, creating people to change into basically this massive... Uh, fight to the death sort of thing and we get to see a load of these cat people um we learn that they're not exactly deadly like they will eat you if they're hungry but they're pretty much playful creatures you could say but very fearful um obviously it was just a guy in a suit but um if you can let your imagination go with it you know it actually is a pretty decent story and i really enjoyed it um i like the cheetahs i like the the humans, Ace's friends were all all right. Then nothing that stood up stood out to me. But there was one that obviously went for the master, and the master joined forces. And then yeah, uh, the master basically created a gang of people. He managed to escape off the planet, and that was the whole idea. The master just wanted to get off the planet, and he managed to, uh, uh, thanks to the doctor, I guess, by keeping them alive long enough. And um. Then we leave a cliffhanger with Ace turning into one of these cat people. And then that's a brilliant cliffhanger as well. Um, yeah, and Ace bonds with one of the cheetah cat people. 
and drink given her water and stuff like that and they start to bond like sisters and running around and ready to eat and feed and then we managed to get ace to teleport us all back i think i did look at my phone at that point so i have to admit i didn't see how they got back to earth i'm guessing it's ace i know i'm a bad person i i weren't paying full attention to it but i did enjoy it and it wasn't boring at all i say a lot of classic can drag but this episode didn't drag but yeah I looked up and was like, damn, I just missed that. So I don't have a clue. I guess it was just Ace teleporting on back to Earth. But, you know, um, let me know in the comments uh, if I'm right. I think I'm right. And then, um, yeah, we just get that, really. And then it's only a three-part story. It's quite nicely, neatly done. Uh, and then the fourth part, and I think it works as a three-part better. Uh, they get back to Earth. The Master's recruited a load of people. There's a motorbike scene for, why not, um, boom, the seventh doctor you thinks dead, he's not dead, uh, that going on, and the main guy that helped the master is, I think, dead on the floor, or knocked out, you know, uh, well, that explosion probably would have killed him, so yeah, he's dead, um, then we get the other cheat people that actually gets killed by the master, because it goes for the master, and it starts turning back to a human, so we learn that there are humans turning into these cheetah people and that's is what the end result will look like and the master loves the power of the cheetah and he feels like he can control it even though it has changed him a bit um and he wants to, to kill the doctor and use the power and stuff like that and yeah <clears throat> um that's about it really oh my voice is going a bit wow um before i end this video i'm just going to say um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's pretty cool, pretty decent. I suppose there's a lot of unfreds, like the cats have gone off on their own thing now. And uh, the master, the master's gone off, God knows where, he's still Cheetah. But obviously in the TV movie, things change that, and we'll review the TV movie at some point. But yeah, um, the Doctor and Ace, where do you want to go now? Home, the TARDIS. And then they go off, and there's 12 Doctor talks about 12th Doctor, the 7th Doctor, Doctor talks about tea, and there we go, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was the last classic Doctor Who story, and to end off the classical August as well, um, I'm going to give this story, I didn't think I'd give it this, I'm going to give it a 9, I really enjoyed it, it's a solid story, and I would watch it again, uh, also, obviously, we got the, um, the cadet PA person who's trying to teach people how to fight as well, that was all right but yeah um really enjoy it solid story and i will see you guys for let me just check my notes for what's next um duh, duh, duh. september um we're, st we're going to be doing some top tens on sarah jane adventures and we're also going to be talking about in october ish time we're going to be talking about class so the spin-off class and then we're going to talk about doctor who um yeah so there's a lot to come stick around and subscribe so you don't miss a video because we're trying to get to a certain goal before the end of the year it'd be lovely if you could join us on the journey click the little bell subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments how did ace did ace teleport the humans uh back to earth or did something else happen let me know in the comments i'll see you guys for another video very soon have a nice day